Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this video find everyone doing well and in good spirits. Hey guys, I got a good one I'm going to be sharing with you guys this morning. It's one of mine and Tuck's favorite uh, when we go out and get breakfast. It is a hardest copy. It's a copycat version of the hardest biscuit and gravy. Uh, guys, we love it, and we don't have it. We got a hard right now. Hard is right down the street from, him. but Tuck always like for me to fix it so he can get his biscuit special order because he'll go in there and tell you extra brown biscuit, and I think that makes the people mad, and they get him giving one of the lighter one that they have, and I laugh at it simply because. Tuck don't like all that that goody inside the biscuits. The biscuits are stick. He always take that part out that inside. I, I don't know what's, what's the name of it. I just call it the goody. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's what I will be sharing with you guys this morning. We love this recipe. It's really good. And like I said, I've been doing my version of this for years. But it's a... Uh, let me tell you now, the biscuits, I already have a recipe up on my channel, how to make homemade buttermilk biscuits very easy and simple. I know that is because I have a, a viewer that's uh, eight years old. She's so precious. I like to call her my little cyber granddaughter. Her name is Destiny, and she can make these biscuits, okay? Because I took out, I, I take you the easy way to making biscuits. I didn't show y'all how I first made them, how, how I was first taught to make biscuits, which was a little bit more complicated, but once you get them, once you get it, you got it. So guys, let me tell you what I will uh, be going to use going to use in this recipe and then I'm going to go off and do some prep work and then I will come back and show you how easy it is to make some delicious sausage gravy. Okay guys, what, you, what you're going to need is um, I have uh, about a third of a stick of butter there and uh, one roll of sausage. It's a mild Tennessee prize, pride, but you can use the sausage of your choice because sometimes I do and the brand and all that, that kind of stuff that varies. Okay guys I got um, two cups of milk and then I will be using a teaspoon of black pepper like lots of black pepper but if you don't like a lot of black pepper you don't have to put it and I will be using a teaspoon of black pepper a half a teaspoon of salt and then guys on top of that salt I have a third a cup of self-rising flour. But let me tell you this, guys. If you have plain flour, you can definitely make this your uh, gravies and stuff out of plain flour. This That is just a personal preference for me. I use the self-rising. And a lot, a lot of you guys that have been with me a while probably know that I use the self-rising flour in doing the breading and flouring on my chicken and all that. I just, over the years, that's something that I... Just I just prefer because to me it's better. So that's the reason I'm going to only use a half a teaspoon of salt. Simply because the sausage got salt in it. Then the flour have a little salt in it. But you know to adjust, I don't have to tell you guys, to adjust all the seasoning to your taste. And then or either you can like, I'm going to use some uh, poultry seasoning now. Sometimes I use a little... Uh, thyme, a little sage or whatever, you can put that in there or you don't have to. I'm just going to only put a fourth of a teaspoon teaspoonful simply because when I use that mild sausage sometimes and I put it in that gravy, it looked like it need a little more um. And so I use that little portrait season so it covers with a little thyme, a little sage or whatever. So like you can either use just one of them. But you don't have to use it at all, guys, if you don't like those different uh, herbs and stuff that's in a portrait season. I think this got a whole array of them out. And that's all we gonna, that's all you're gonna need for this recipe, guys. It's so simple. But I'm gonna make up my I'm gonna make me some my biscuit recipe. And then when I get finished making my biscuit recipe, I'm going to come back and show you guys just how easy it is to make this delicious sausage gravy. And uh, But let me tell you what I'm going to do when I leave off to get my biscuits ready. I'm going to do my uh, sausage. Now I'm going to do my sausage just like you do ground beef. I'm not going to put them in patties. It's going to be just, just, you know, just loose, just 
put it in the uh, pack and brown it up like you're going to do ground beef and then drain the grease off of it. And then uh, once I get my gravy uh, finished, I'll be putting it in that. So guys, I'm just telling you the preliminaries. I'm going to go off, get my biscuits made up, then come back and show you how easy it is to make this delicious gravy, guys. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back, and uh, I got that butter. At one third a cup of butter, a stick of butter, I got it melting here in my uh, skillet, and I have it like on a, a three, like a, a medium low, like on a three. Guys, you're not gonna need to start out trying to cook this too uh, high, not high. And listen, I got my sausage. Can they see this stuff? Mm -hmm. I got my sausage already uh, brown and drained and everything. And then I'll uh, show them my biscuit stuff. I already got my biscuits uh, ready. And I'm going to tell you this too, guys. You can use uh, canned biscuits or whatever. If you don't want to go through the uh, problem of doing the canned biscuits, and it's just so easy to me, for me to make this here sausage gravy, you know, it's so to me it's easy. You can just do that instead of... Um, do you see a frog over there? I don't know why this frog was so... Oh, uh, what you pass now? Please. This frog was so lumpy. I don't know. I sipped it when I uh, made my biscuits. And normally I don't do that. Okay, guys. You're just going to put your... This is one third a cup of flour. Now, you're using... Uh, I mean, a fourth a cup. Now, if you're going to use plain flour, you might have to use more. And I'm just going to... Get this spread it out here in my uh, oil. Now I used to do my sausage and gravy while well, I didn't uh, wash my skillet out. And then I just started making a, I just started doing it like this. And then with the butter. As it used to be uh, I wanted to, they want all that grease that was in the skillet left over in there. And then go right on in guys. This is that uh, teaspoon of black pepper. That half a teaspoon of salt and that fourth a teaspoon of the uh, portrait season. And you know I told you you can eliminate that portrait season and put you just some whatever spice you like. Oh, you don't have to do anything at all. That sausage may be enough for you guys. But um, you take that for me. I just love putting that extra on there. I'm, I'm like a red smell already. And guys, I'm Hold going on, to. Give you this. Hmm? Have some more salt left in there. Then get all the salt out. When you let stuff sit up, it kind of settles and stick. Thank you, Doc. Good looking You're out. <laughs> guys, how many of you guys uh, like? Oh, well, I might have asked you that while we're doing it. The hardest um, bis I mean, biscuit and gravy. Now, guys, uh, let me tell you something with this here right here with this flour. You're not trying to, you're trying to cook this flour, but you're not going to brown it like you would do like a regular roux. Now, this is the steps, you know, when you do regular roux or regular gravy, but you're not trying to brown it. I, I, I normally let it cook once I put it in there. I'm going to time it. I let it, probably let it cook off a minute or two. I'm going to put this on there and see exactly how long do I. So I'm going to put it in my cookbook. I kind of know before I have to uh, go in and start putting my milk in there. And guys, when you uh, get ready to put your milk in, get you a whisk. I got two cups of milk to put in here. And then I got some water over here for thinning it out. If it's too thick, or you can thin it back out with the milk. But I just always use a, a little water. But I got this whisk. And, uh, I'm going to let let it out uh, as I pour the milk over there. I'm gonna keep, you know, whisking whisking it up so it won't get lumpy on me. And we're gonna slowly add this milk. I'm gonna add enough and then get it um uh, blended in, and then go in with some more so that uh. That helps make it all smooth and everything. Okay, it's about to be. I, I'm, it was so many. It was so many seconds that went back before I started. That two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead on and start. Uh, I 
can tell that this flour is going to cook by way. It's, gonna, it's not going to be a floury taste or whatever because my skillet was big and thin. So I'm going to pour some of the milk over here. I like to do it like this first, guys. Just put a puff over there to get it out started up. Uh, don't try to put too much or you try to have to handle it that way. You know. Put some more in there and get it all off. Uh, you know that flour will start thickening up on you. Especially me because I use the self-rising flour. That's just the two minutes there, guys. This don't take long at all. Because once you are browning that flour off, it's kind of cooking it, and then we're going to get this milk in there and get that started. See how it's thickening it up? Then we'll go in and add some more of this milk. I'll say probably add it in at a half a, start out with a, maybe a little half a cup of butter, and then start adding in the, uh, stirring in in the little half a cup increments. If you ain't got your uh, stove too high, to make sure your gravy gonna be all nice and uh, smooth. Like I tell you, let me go back to that question. How many of you guys have a harvest in your city? Or you have something similar to a harvest? Because right, a long time ago, guys, it used to be a um, harvest everywhere. We're traveling with my husband. They, didn't, they did not have hardest in certain uh, cities and states and stuff. And uh, I was just like, wasn't liking that. I'm going to add the rest of this milk. But that been so many years ago, guys. They may have one up in there. They may have a hardest. Or they even may. Uh, I heard on the uh, television few years back that it was some other company was doing they was uh like similar to a hardest. If you did you did you hear anything about that Tuck? There was a huh? place that uh that are the same as hardest. They just the hardest uh, is a southern thing around this part of the country but uh, up in some of the northern even out. Western played their card card juniors. They are the same as Hardy's. Oh, exact yeah. same menu and everything, but they're called card juniors. Card juniors. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to one of those? Yes, sure have. Is it is it like close enough to uh, it ain't no close it's the exact same thing. Oh, okay. Juniors. So Hardy's mm -hmm. oh Hardy's so Hardy's Hardy's card, card, junior, card card juniors are the same uh, uh, recipes and company and stuff. They they use the same uh, menus. But what and, uh, I'm asking, why do they have is, a same? Same thing as Crystals, Crystals and White Castle, Hamburger Stand, they're the same. Oh, but mm -hmm. just different it names. It just depends on what they are as to what, they, what their name was. Excuse me for cutting you mm -hmm. out. Uh, so, what you're saying down in our area is called Hardy's. Mm -hmm. But up in the, uh, what state? Sometimes in the up, no, up north or somewhere. I, I'm, saying, I'm trying to remember where all I've, I've seen car juniors at. Uh, I know it was out in, uh, I believe, Oklahoma, uh, California. Mostly, you know, up in the northern states, up for stuff like that, in the northern part of the country, and out in Kansas, Oklahoma, and all that, and that area there. They're called. If I remember correctly, I called Junior. Were you passing my big silver spoon behind the guy? Okay, guys, I have finished that, putting the milk in. I have that exactly in. correct as to the states there, are in, but I, I've been to so many of them uh, during my traveling. But, uh, and we still but that, got it. no difference. Excuse me. And we still got it on low. Because, I mean, medium, you know, medium low. And I'm like, just, uh, as I say, the gravy. Scratch up my payment, but uh, I'm gonna have to test the other, assist the other, and I'm gonna let this uh, do that little low simmer. Not no hot, not no coming back to no boil or nothing like that. And guys, this gravy is absolutely delicious. 
I fixed it for a friend some years ago. I fixed this meal. She couldn't believe it. She said, girl, I know y'all don't never go to Hardest. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, yes, we do. Yes, God can cook it. That don't mean I want to be in the kitchen all the time. I said, well, we traveling and stuff. Her favorite place uh, was, is, uh, what is it, Waffle House. The cat like mm -hmm. She liked Waffle House. But I just wasn't that fun of her. It's okay. But, uh, because she used to tell me, what was that she was talking about? It was the steak or the pork chop. She recommended two things to me there that uh, was really good at um, Hardy's. And both of them, ooh, they, they got that steak gagged me. She told me, you send that back. Got a pork it, chop. Was that pork chop? No, that was a steak that gagged me. I taste that tallow taste. You could tell it had been rinsed off. I mean, it really tasted nasty. Okay, guys, you see, it's thick really thick. I'm trying to let it get to the consistency we like it. But basically this is ready and I'm going to dump my sausage and stuff back over in it. And this is your uh, hardest uh, what that other guy name you say? Carl Jr. Carl Jr. Biscuit. So I call it sausage biscuit and gravy, but you know on the menu it's just biscuit and gravy. And I'm going to cut this off, guys. And I'm going to go over here and plate some of it up and get a thumbnail. And then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Hey, okay, guys, we. Okay guys, we're back and I'll be right over there in just a minute. Put my knife somewhere and then I'll get it cut down. I'm just washing that off. I just use it. That's right. I won't even get another. Okay guys, this is the finished product of the uh, um, biscuit and gravy. Hardest cap copycat. And uh, that other man too that Gary said. And while we went off camera, Gary telling me some other places uh, that was uh, all affiliated. Uh, what was that you were saying about the rallies and the checkers is the same thing? Checkers, and hamburgers, and rallies. They, they are the same. Uh, and uh, I think I mentioned to you the uh, yeah. crystals and, 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 white, and Ca white castle. We never had White Castle before, guys. Well, I have. They're the same, just depending on where, what part of the country you're in, as to as to which Tuck. company their names go by. And Tuck. there may be some others. Those are the ones I can think of right off that I've been told. There may be some others. And, uh, but, uh, Tuck used to go to all the places when he was working uh, for a different company and traveling all over the world. Guys, this is, uh, I just cut, you know how they always have the biscuit. Well, if you get it to go, the biscuit is just whole, and then the mm -hmm. gravy is in a little container. Okay, now you have biscuits under that gravy there. Yeah, so it's a biscuit up under this gravy, guys. Mm -hmm. And that's what I took my thumbnail of. That's really like that because I started to just put a bowl of gravy, and then I didn't. Now I'm gonna cut one of these biscuits over because I know it's gonna be someone say someone said, "Man, maybe you should have let us see inside of the biscuits." And I'm gonna say, "Y'all should be done trying my biscuit recipe." I did a lot of things to make these biscuits easy for you. Now, if you want fluffy and you want all that, that kind of stuff, I don't do that no more. I'm too old for it. When you get a certain age, you be done about figured out. Most of that stuff is not necessary. And, um, you know, you want, and then it's a, it's some biscuits in the store that we get a lot of times when uh, I have the family home and we doing a uh, big breakfast and stuff. Oh, those grand biscuits, they're all flaky and good and good mm -hmm. too. So hey, because I can't, you know, I can't, I don't, I don't like to tire myself out when I have guests and company in. So I always will find things that are products that I know that I can buy that's kind of already cooked and ready made. Just as, it's just as good. So guys, this all, that's all I can tell you about it. And I know Tuck is ready to eat. And uh, we got somewhere to go this morning. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, I started not to because I hadn't planned on it. After he asked me, saying was uh, asking me to uh, fix some. Uh, hey, Tommy, how about us having some uh, biscuits and gravy 
uh, for breakfast. I almost said, uh, how about not? And then I thought of it, I said, we ain't had no that a while. I said, yeah, I think she saw. And then when I came, I said, yeah, might as well do a video. I said, I never shared that with the fam. So guys, let me go ahead on and say, don't forget to thumbs up my video. A lot of you guys been thumbing up, and I told you that helps them share out my videos and in the analytics and stuff. I'm trying to get all into this stuff like I should have been from the start. But I hear other content providers kind of explaining what that stuff about. Now, you, you guys um, leave me wonderful comments. Because I heard one guy talking about, he, uh, um, you know, about replying to, he replies to his um, comments and stuff like that. I started, I, I was like, that's the most fun part about it. I said, that's where you seem like you're getting in touch with the people, personality and stuff. And then you always, so I'm always so thankful and appreciative to God that the ones that comment is just, you know, they're nice. You don't have, you know, a person don't, you don't have to watch me. You don't have to do that. And I appreciate this stuff. And I really, really appreciate it because I be reading some of them comments and some of them, all my little funny guys, you know, used to use them or leave them comments and stuff. I don't really see them as much as I used to, Gare. And um, then, um, like I said, that's a way, that's one way of connecting with you and through the emails. I get a, you know, I get a lot of emails and stuff from you guys and stuff. But uh, I just want to let you know that I, I appreciate you to the highest with you watching my channel and making it what it is for this same elderly lady. <laughs> I'm not doing too much and I'm still looking forward to getting out there doing what I'm going to do in, 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 in the garden. I've gotten some emails and stuff that I'm going to respond to when I get out there again because I got something a little exciting that I think I'm going to do a video uh Sunday. Then I'm going to explain all of that to you guys. Ever since I went head on with it, because you know I started to do this last year, and I didn't. But then after I got to seeing how things is going on in this world, and that was kind of nagging on in the back of my head, I said I may need to share this, but for if nothing else, to leave for my uh, daughter, her future children, and then my two granddaughters. Oh, my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, will become a teenager in about a month and oh she is so pretty she played tennis my son sent me a a picture of her last night i almost started crying because they used to share a lot of times with uh, with me before the pandemic before the pandemic hit they used to come down and would spend the whole summer with me and i would go up and visit them and we used to have the best of time guys i'm telling you i have drank more make-believe tea and ate more rubbery chicken and eggs and hams and pieces of pies I know than any other grandmother in the world. Now it's a good because then I you know I was my we was kind of late being grandparents and uh but I still could get out that flow. I get down in that flow with that baby and I mean she would about want me to stay down there all day. Nana come do this nana nana do that nana eat this I just cooked it. I said I heard you could I heard that stuff frying in there. I'm ready to eat it. Sounds good. Guys, I was just sharing that with you with my grandkids, with you about my grandkids. I know you got what you guys got grandkids. You know how you know what I'm talking about. They just fill our heart with so much love. And that now you know my son be said be be telling them say, is that the same mama? Not my mama, whatever. I'm like, boy, that's different. Now I done raised you up, did pretty good. I'm not it's your job to raise your grandkids, your kids. Cause you know, you know, I don't I just can't. <laughs> I know I could, but I just I be I be real soft on them. And Tuck won't do nothing. Tell the truth, he'll go along with it all, uh, letting them get away with stuff. And they take they at first when they were younger, they took full advantage of it. Make no mistake about it. So guys, let me go ahead on and uh, uh end this video. Like I say, leave me a comment as to whether or not you like the biscuits and gravy. Or have you ever had hardest biscuit and gravy? And uh, remember what I always told you guys. Think positive and use your common sense and they may love you guys. Bye. And bye you guys. And I'd like to say one thing. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to my dad today. Today, oh, March 11th, is his birthday. And he turned <laughs> yeah. 88 years old today. And we're so thankful and to God that man. we still have dad and and I also want to say happy birthday to our aunt of mine, Aunt Lucille. 
You better not tell her uh -huh. age. Now, she's my dad's sister, and her birthday was on the 9th of March. And, and they it. are very uh, close in age. A uh, few years difference, and I won't say which way it was. But, uh, but uh, I'm happy birthday to both of you. And uh, we are thinking of you, and we actually have talked to her, to Annie already. And I talked to Dad yesterday. Well, today's his birthday, and uh, we'll be uh, uh, talking to seeing him today. Yeah, happy happy birthday, Annie. And I did go back into to uh, the Dollar Tree, and I got you some of the seeds, guys. I would like to share with that. Now, my grand, my father-in-law, he he has a lot of problems with his. Uh, you know his arthritis bones and stuff like that, but I can't talk because I have a lot too. He, you know, like he does. In, if you compare it to the age, he done ten times better than me. But our aunt, aunt, Luc aunt Lucia, she works. Got beautiful roses. Still work out there in her yard and all that stuff. And our dearly beloved uncle that you know he passed last year. They he used they used to do the gardens and all of that stuff. So we had have had some great influence in our life that made this type of stuff that we had went away from at a certain point in our life that we bring and invite to share to with our kids and my family on YouTube for fourth generation for future generation because this is something guys we do never have we should never forget because them people like when my dad and mama was coming up doing gardens and stuff like that they did um they had big families and my dad worked with my mama really didn't work outside she did a little uh day work for maybe like a couple of days or whatever but most of the time she was there at the house with us when we got went to school and got off of school and it, and i'm gonna tell you that was i was talking to a friend yesterday when I remember, go start remembering that stuff, something shot me, bring those memories back in my head. I get kind of emotion, emotional, as, uh, especially with what kind of state that this world is in now. But in none of this that's going on, the Bible didn't speak of it. So we just got to do according to what God's will is and do what we're supposed to do, no matter what the world is doing out there. That's going to be our saving grace that we do not do it. If you know better, they used to tell us all the time, when you know better, you do better. Because all it's nobody perfect. All of us have sinned in some kind of way and fell short. Even some of it might have been intentionally and in malice. In, in malice and some of it might have been just mistakes. But you're supposed to repent, ask God for forgiveness, and then go ahead on and try to do uh, the right thing. So guys, that's all. I wouldn't even tend to talk that much to you. So I'm going to say bye and see you in my next video, guys. Alright guys. Again, bye you guys.